Uh, I'm trying to get these names right. You'll have to excuse me. It's not Young Link, it is Kirby. Top eight and vanilla. Do you mean top eight on the ladder or top eight, uh, top eight in the tournament? All right, I think we have it all correct now. Sorry, it takes me a while to update the overlay. Dark Horse was uh, was very unhappy to be <laughs> playing this match. <laughs> He's not looking forward to playing Jaime, and I don't blame him. Jaime on quite the tear. I think Dark Horse generally goes Bowser. I saw him playing a lot of Bowser, but uh, wow, the back air has a lot of knockback. So looking at the standings right now, we have LD, then Janko, then Epad, then Caleb, then Low, then Josh Brody, then Revan, then Dog Johnson. So those are currently the top eight on the ladder. I think it'll be top four that gets seeded straight into the final bracket, but I don't know for certain. In that case, it would be LD, Janko, Epad, and Baby Caleb, which is like one out of three, one out of four old enough to drink. I don't know. Some Zoomers. Maybe Epad can drink. That looked pretty dominant from Jaime. I'm paying about as much attention to this matchup as Dark Horse is. Janko is very good. It doesn't surprise me at all that he's up there. Epad and Baby Caleb a little bit. You never know with this format, right? Epad and Caleb are actually completely tied. So like low is eight and two, Caleb is six and zero. Oh. Caleb's higher because his win percent is higher. But I'm not sure they actually played head to head, right? Jenko has not been on stream. I'm sorry, I, I really have no ability to control who's on stream. It's pretty much whoever wanders over. So there's no. Uh, no consistency in in the matchups. And as you can see here, like the pairings are not necessarily based on ranking. Although I don't know how high Jaime really is. Jaime is 14th. So Jaime and Empty are actually tied. Huntsman above them both. JPX up there. So Taco is currently five and four. I think if Jaime wins this, he's going to win the, uh, the Polygon crown. <laughs> so Taco's a little unfortunate, right? He'll have gone all polygon, but uh, failed to secure the prize. So it kind of hurt his seating. Ultimately, that might mostly be a problem for people that then have to play against him in bracket, right? You don't necessarily want to have Tacos as like your three seed in your pool. I guess Vanilla is going to start soon, so I will be hopping off the mic soon. I believe the, the bounty is just for ladder. So, you know, the advantage of that is that, like, if someone goes for the bounty and it, um, like they rank lower than they would, they're not just gonna like get eliminated from the tournament for uh, hopefully just for going all polygons. 
There might be two, I don't know. There's quite a lot of bounties. So Polygon isn't the only bounty. We have like a really wide variety of beer related bounties. Like, you know, uh, if you hit a Warlock Punch or something, you get a bounty. I think uh, Josh Brody got that in his very first